Hi guys, I'm Chris Dixon and welcome to East Lothian Guitar Lessons. Um, we're going to talk tonight about chord pairs. Okay, Chord pairs are a way to break down your chord practice um, and your chord progression in a song so that you can learn the chords for a song in a more easy fashion. So one of the hardest things about learning a song is not necessarily learning a chord, though that can be difficult as well. But once you've learned your chord, moving from that chord to the next chord really smoothly. So the way that you should go about doing that is that you should just forget about all the other chords in the song and just start with the first two. Now that progression that I was playing there had three chords in it. I had an A minor, chord, I had a D chord, and I had a G chord. So I'm going to not even worry about the G chord at the moment. I'm just going to practice moving from my A minor to the D. And you can do that. Uh, I, I normally recommend just doing like a minute, okay? Just set a timer for a minute and just go one, two, three, four, and move to D. And back to A minor, and back to D. until you can do it. And do that every day, and that chord pair will develop so that you can do it very smoothly. Then your next chord pair is you're gonna go from the D to the G. start to build that up so that you can move between those two chords really easily. One of the advantages of doing it this way is that it makes it a little bit easier for you to get down the technique of moving smoothly between one chord and the next. Now it may seem like it will take you a long time to learn a song that way, but it won't really. You'd be surprised how quickly if you could do that focused practice on chord pairs, how quickly you start to get them and you can move on to the next chord pair. And the big advantage, and this is, this is the big deal right here, is that any chord pairs that you are working on, I guarantee that there are a thousand other songs out there that use those exact same chord pairs, okay? Um, so if you're moving from an A minor to D, there are many, many songs that have that chord pair. If you're moving from a G to a D, there are many, many songs out there that use that chord pair as well. Any song that you are learning is a chord progression. So that means that that chord progression is used widely across many songs and you'll find that those pairs that you are practicing crop up again and again. And every time that you find or that you learn a chord pair, you will find that uh, there will be a song that uses it and you already know how to play that chord pair. So learning that song will be much easier for you. So go, Find that song that you're working on, break it down into the first two chords, do your first chord pair and work on that for a few days until you can do it smoothly, then work on the next chord pair and uh, let me know how you get on. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.